are being smart. What I mean by smart, called Beckett, Beckett Aqua Smart, it can have a series of sensors hooked up to it for different purposes. This sensor that you see into the boiler, of course, is high and low limit water temperature that's being contained in the boiler and being maintained by an oil burner monitored by the Aquastat. Other sensors that can be hooked up to the Beckett Aquasmart would be an outdoor temperature sensor, supply piping sensor, return piping sensor for space heating, and also uh, supply and return piping for domestic hot water. If you were using a tankless coil in the boiler for domestic water purposes, which is for washing your face and your clothes and your hands. More on the board, an Argo ARM6P. That model number uh, shows us that it is a switching relay for zoning of circulators. Each individual module and each individual uh, circuit will be monitored by that panel. What we have here on this board, just for demonstration purposes, is two very basic old school type thermostats. Everything on all the wiring is contained in this trough. One emergency switch mounted right on the trough. What the design of this board is to be mounted up on a wall behind the boiler, off to the side, potentially on the side of a boiler. Keeping things together neat and clean. This is in its basic form right now, but also in the design stages for communications via a small computer that can be accessed wirelessly and or wired for cell phone use, for tablet use, for internet use. So that way, while you are away from the house, you certainly still know, can know what's going on. So what we're gonna do is a live fire demonstration. You're gonna see on the back at Aquasmart, on the L LCD screen, <laughs> the temperatures and actually what's going on inside of the boiler as far as water temperatures are concerned. We do have a high and low limit extension sensor made by Beckett for us, tied into the boiler. So we'll go ahead and turn the power switch on. We're going to make sure that none of these zones are calling for heat. We just want this boiler to operate at first. You can see what the Beckett control is telling you. It's telling you what the temperature of the heating water is inside of the boiler. And that's all done via this sensor into an that well. Burner firing into the boiler. Monitoring water temperature that's in that boiler through that high and low limit extension probe that goes into the well. Watching this, you'll see that the temperature and degrees will start to rise. And when it rises to a point of either low limit or what your design or set high limit will be, that'll either turn the boiler, the burner off, or if a zone is calling, you're now going to have heat coming out to that zone. And that's all monitored by the Aquas line. As you can see, we're energizing a zone. On the Argo panel, it's telling us that a thermostat, zone number one, is calling for heat. But we're not going to have any circulator operation just yet because the Aquastat will also monitor and control when the circulator is allowed to come on because we certainly don't want the circulator coming around, coming on and circulating cold water. Right now the water inside of this boiler is cold. You can see the temperature in the boiler is starting to rise. We started out with about 79 degrees. We're now up to 82, 83 degrees. And that will continue as long as burner operation is there and functioning. Zone two would be the same exact thing. We are calling for heat. The Argo zone panel is telling us that we're calling for heat, but we're not going to get circulator operation until the water in the boiler, the temperature of the water in the boiler, is up to an appreciable point where it does pay and it will do some space heating when that circulator turns on. So basically what the two controls are doing are communicating with each other right now. The Aquastat is telling the Argo zone panel water temperature is not high enough. I know you're calling for heat, but I'm not going to give you that ability to operate a circulator yet. Because if I do, then you're going to be circulating water out of a cold boiler. Cold water circulating around your house, well that's not, ooh, that's not heating, that now becomes cooling. So the control won't allow it. When temperature does rise to that point, 
where we will have the ability to have a circulator on. And what I'm going to do for demonstration purposes is I'm going to lower the low limit, which is also the setting for circulator operation. So now you can see what I did. I changed the low limit operation. I uh, changed the low limit set points so that you can see circulator operation without having to wait too long. We were waiting for this boiler to heat up. At the same time, you've heard that burner shut down because I did change the design temperatures on it so that we're not going to have that high of a temperature coming in, coming out of the supply line. So when we turn up a thermostat. The Argo switching relay panel, which is a circulator panel, allows circulator operation for that chosen zone. We chose zone one, and that would be zone two. You're also hearing this burner firing again. And this burner is firing again because if you're imagining, circulator is on. We're now taking that hot water that we made out of the boiler and circulating it around the house. Well, what comes back from that throughout the house coming back to the return side of the boiler is cooler temperature water because that water we've taken out of the boiler has done what it's supposed to do and it's given up its heat, its heat through baseboard radiators, convectors, radiant aqua coils that may be uh, in a warm air system. Watching the AquaSmart you'll see we're starting to raise in temperature again we're going up to 96 degrees and the reason for that we're going to go up to a higher temperature now because we are calling for heat. The way that we've designed this system, utilizing the Beckett AquaSmart and also the Argo Zone panel, <laughs> when there is a call for heat, our design temperatures kind of change. And the reason they change is because when you're calling for heat, we want that design temperature to be at your high limit and not just at your low limit. When you're not calling for heat, the way that we've designed this system is to allow the water temperature in the boiler to drop down. That's an instant and very gratifying energy savings. You can imagine, why would we want to maintain a high temperature in the boiler if we're not going to make use of it? Like in whether that we have this spring or the upcoming summer. 